In the church, we're always talking about the restoration. But did you know there are actually two types of restoration? If this is news to you, we'll stick around. We're going to talk about that in this episode. I'm Anthony Sweat, and this is Seekers Wanted. There is actually a difference between the restoration of the church and the restoration of all things. The restoration of the church is when the Lord restored through Joseph Smith the priesthood keys and powers necessary to organize the church and administer its gospel ordinances. Often when we talk about the restoration, that's what we mean. However, there is a second type of restoration, and this restoration is the big restoration. In Acts chapter 3, the Apostle Peter gives a great discourse. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Notice how Peter said that the heavens must receive Jesus until the time of the restitution of all things. That is referencing the second coming of Jesus Christ. And that gives us a key insight into the second type of restoration, the restoration of all things. To help you understand this concept perhaps a little better, I want to explain something about the fall of Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve fell, they didn't just introduce sin and death into the world, which they did. They introduced a whole host of things that came as a result of fallen man now operating on this world. So when Jesus says that he is here to redeem us from the fall of Adam and Eve, his promise is to redeem us from all the effects of the fall of Adam and Eve. Yes, all of them, including unfairness, injustice, oppression, violence, and everything. You may be sitting there hearing this at home and saying, but those things still surround me. And yes, they do. That's because the restoration of all things is a future event. The restoration of all things comes when Jesus comes back to this earth to redeem it fully from its fall. To quote our article of faith, to take this telestial world and put it into a paradisical state that it's in. When Jesus comes back, he's going to do a great act of restoration. He is going to redeem all humankind from the effects of the fall. This is why this is so important for seekers, because if we think the restoration of the church was the restoration, then that's largely in the past. However, if we understand that the restoration of all things is a future event, and that it's God's will being done perfectly on this earth, well then guess what? I can help do God's will on this earth, and so can you. And that gives me focus as a seeker, and that should give you focus as well. So what does that look like in practical terms for seekers? Well, let me explain a little bit. Every time you or I help somebody overcome ignorance, help them learn something about God or truth, help overcome poverty or injustice or oppression or unfairness, in essence, every time you and I literally help God's will be done in any way, shape, or form on this earth, we are contributing a small little stone in building the kingdom of God on this earth. I was sitting on a bench in Harmony, Pennsylvania, watching a film about Joseph Smith translating the Book of Mormon. And as I sat there, I had this thought that came to me, and I thought, why wasn't I there? Why wasn't I part of the restoration? And as I sat there, wishing, frankly, that um, I had been part of that, a powerful message came into my mind. And the message was, you are. You're still part of the restoration, and that I can contribute in my own small way, in my own realm, just as much to the ongoing restoration as Joseph Smith or Emma Smith or Heber and Valate Kimball did in their realm. And that is an empowering thought. What it tells me and what I hope it tells you is that in any way, if I help Jesus' will to be done, in any way, whether that's at home, in my neighborhood, with my community, I am contributing to the ongoing restoration. It helps me to know that I can contribute with good people of other faith communities, people who are not even of faith communities, but who are helping doing good in this world. I can work with them. I can be part of that because they're also 
helping to bring about the restoration of all things because they're helping God's will be done on this earth. It's not an us and them. It's not the church and everybody else. It's all of God's children trying to work together to do His will and to bring His will to pass. And that is a great thing to seek for. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me in this quest to be better seekers. I hope that some of the skills or perspectives or attitudes that I've shared in these video series have helped you in your quest to come unto God, to seek His Son, to seek His kingdom, to seek truth, and to learn by study and by faith.